This ocean scene was modeled, rendered, and animated all within Form Z. Each object represents a different modeling or animation feature, and there is a separate demo for each of them. In this presentation, I'll show how I modeled these three shells. All right, I'll create the first shell using some wires I've drawn in 3D space. Let me pull these apart so you can see how they're constructed. It's just a series of cross sections with some paths that connect in between the cross sections. I'll use the skin tool and actually I'll first pick the cross sections. Let me zoom out a little further. And then I'll collect or select all of the paths between those cross sections. Then I'll go to my skin tool and I'll tell it that I have four sources and seven paths. And then I'll click and that will form the model of my seashell. Let's give that a little color. What I've got is a preset surface dial that I've made. And this is just an image of a shell that I've got. And I want to project that onto my model. Let me close this window. So let me go to the color tool and I'll click on the shell. And you'll notice that it's not positioned right. So let's use the texture map tool. And you'll notice we've got the default mapping of cubic currently. So let me switch over to flat mapping and that will project just straight down. And uh, let's do an interactive shaded so you can see how the progress is going as I work. Now I want to change the tiles down to a little bit less than one tile and that will have the effect of making the color bleed over the edges. Then I just center that horizontally and vertically. And there we have our shell. All right, that was easy enough. Let's do another one. Uh, how about the Nautilus shell? What I've got is a little C-shaped line and then a spiral that I used the formula curve tool to build. So what I'll do is take this C-shaped line and extrude it along a path. We call this a sweep. So here I'll take my C-shaped line and my spiral and let me position that C-shape. Let me rotate it around here. You can control its rotation along the path. Let me render this so you can see what it looks like. And then I want this to scale up as it reaches the end of the line. So it's going up 15 times. And uh, let me hit OK. Now let's give this a little bit of color. So I'm going to use my texture map tool to preset the positioning of that texture. Again, we're starting out with a default map of cubic, but we don't want that. Since this is an herb surface, we can use parametric. Parametric will actually make the color of the surface style bend and stretch to match the position of the NURB surface. So this is how we get this Nautilus color to wrap around in the same direction that you see the, the surface going. Just like that. Again, pretty easy. Last, we're going to create a starfish. So this will, I'll, I'll have to show you this in a couple different, pe a couple different uh, increments. The first thing I'll do is just show you a flat pentagon, right? Easy enough. Whoops, let me go to a gray surface style. Okay, so here we just have a flat pentagon. Simple enough. Now with the pattern option in the polygon tool, you can actually add a little bit of a pattern to each of the edges of the polygon. So you see I start out with a pentagon and I add this extra pattern on top of each of the segments of that that uh, polygon. I'll show you a little bit of a different pattern. How about this one that alternates between round and flat? So on an even numbered polygon, I've got a round edge followed by a flat edge. So let me go back to a pentagon. And so I'll create a star shape and then I want to extrude that up to a point. We call that a converged extrude. So I got my pentagon which I form into a star and I extrude that up to a point and that forms this uh, very sharp edge starfish. So let's round that down to make it look a little bit more realistic. I'll use the T-subs tool to do that. Let me uh, set the curvature down a little bit. I'll change a couple other parameters here, make that a little bit smoother. There we have our starfish. Let's add a little color. In fact, I'm going to do this in the same way that I did that original clamshell. I'll change it from the default cubic to flat. Uh, I can change the number of tiles down to a little bit less than one and I'll center that. Last, I'll just paint that color of the starfish on there. So there we have our three objects.
Here's the final movie of the shells, all modeled and rendered within Form Z.